Welcome to NerdStalker. We're here at the San Francisco New Tech Meetup at the Dolby Digital Labs and with my new friend, and you are? Ziv Gilat. I'm one of the co-founders of iFi uh, and VP of BizDev. What is this iFi thing? So iFi is a wireless memory card. So it's a two gig or four gig card. Uh, it looks like any other card. Uh, there's no wire sticking out. There's the, it, and it fits into any camera. Um, and what it does is it makes any camera wireless. So basically what you do is you put it into your camera, take a picture, uh -huh. and we can even do this and take a picture of both of us. Uh -huh. And now we're all on Flickr, or Facebook, or MySpace, or any of the top 25 sites that are on the net. My, my friends who are following me on Twitter can see my Twitter feed. So now also this tweeted on my Twitter feed, RSS feeds, email, SMS. So the whole idea is just make a camera uh, wireless. So let me get this straight. So the, the, it's, a, it's a little memory card thing, like an SD memory card you put into your camera. It has a wireless capability also. So once you take your picture, it's automatically updating these various sites that you just mentioned right now. Yeah. Or your computer. So the whole idea is just keep things simple. Have fun. How is it talking to your computer? Bluetooth? Through wireless. No, so air to the 11 uh, G, G or B. We usually do use G. Uh, or open networks, uh, Wayport, Powers, McDonald's. So 10,000 locations in the US. Uh, hotels, restaurants, um, uh, airports, awesome. uh, open hotspots, or secure hotspots. So your home, your work, your friends. I've seen some of the people here at SF New Tech using it. It worked amazingly. I mean, people were taking pictures of the events. It was updating the websites immediately. Um, is there some sort of web interface to configure all this yeah, so that it updates your, your accounts, et cetera? Yeah, so we have a web app. It's Ajax-based, Ajax and Dojo. So when you first get the card, we give you a reader with it for free. Um, you put it into a USB slot, configure it, create an account with us, tell us what's your account on Facebook or Flickr or Photobox. It, um, tell us where you want to go on your computer if you want to go to your computer and then and then take your first photo and once you do that the card knows about your accounts online it knows about your machine at home and it's done so are you guys doing any of the hosting yourself or is it just going directly are you just a middleman sort of handing it off right. to the various providers we're a middleman so we're a gateway so we will not store your high-res images uh, we, t we, we, we hold on to them temporarily so for example if you're at home and, you, and, you, and your Mac is not online it will go to our servers first, from our servers to Flickr or Facebook, and then we'll hold on to the high res until we, we, we confirm that it was received by the endpoint destination and by your machine. Once we confirm that it was received by your PC or Mac or online and online, we'll erase it from, from, from our end. So we'll hold on to the high res temporarily, only for a few hours or a few days, it, it depends. If you're, for example, out on vacation, mm -hmm. your photos are going to, let's say, uh, Kodak, but your machine at home is, is turned off. So we'll have the high res on our servers te temporarily. Then you come back home, turn your computer on, everything goes to your computer, and then we erase it from on the server. So can you talk about some of the architecture and how this is happening? What sort of services, servers that, that my photo is going to once it leaves my camera? Where does it go? You know, what's, what's, who are the hops and where does this go? Yeah, so the card uh, goes through your Wi-Fi router and either it goes through your computer first, if, if it's on, if it's not on, it doesn't matter, it goes through your router to our servers, from our servers it goes to those endpoint guys like Flickr, Shutterfly, Snapfish, um, and then from our servers back to your computer as well. Uh, if you're up and about, uh, for geolocation, we use Skyhook Wireless, so Skyhook has drivers. So, so, so we'll use, so it'll go to, to our servers. From our servers, we'll call Skyhook. Skyhook will tell us, okay, this photo was taken here. We embed that into the XF header. And, and once we, we embed it, it then goes to the online destination. So, so, we, so we, we do have colos. Uh, we have colos in the U.S. Um, and, and as we move into more, more geographies, we may also have colos there as well. How do I know that you know, what I'm doing is secure? Yeah, so if you're on an open network, we already have a security mechanism above that. So even though you're on an open network, it is secure from the card to the, to the server. It's secure from the server to the, to, to the uh, sites because we use secure HTTPS, so it's secure. Um, if you're on a secure Wi-Fi network, of course, you're already there. You're secure. You're behind your firewall at home, and, and you're using WEP or WPA, so you're secure. It's a product. You, I assume it's just not one memory size, is it? You probably have several different iterations of this thing or, or different things. Can you talk about that? And where can we buy these things? Sure. So we have 2 gig and 4 gig. Uh, we have three products. Well, actually, we have four or five now. We have Home, Share, and Explore. The Home uh, goes to just your computer. Share goes to the computer and to the internet, so 25 sites plus. And Explore also does geolocation and roaming. Or you can buy any of the cards, any of the Share or Home cards that cost less and upgrade the services. So you can upgrade your Home card to have web share. You can upgrade the Home card to do geolocation. Um, 
and then we have two gig and four gig. They're sold at Best Buy stores, um, Apple stores, Fry's, Circuit City, Wolf, Ritz, as well as online on Amazon, Costco.com, Walmart.com, Buy.com. So all the big electronics providers. Right? Exactly. And what's the URL? So www.i.fi, so eye.fi, or ifi.com. Very cool. And uh, if customer feedback, how do we get a hold of you guys? So we're on Twitter. Uh, we are on Get Satisfaction. We have a forum on our site. We have we have tech support, phone, email, chat. Uh, our website ha has more information. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So head to the website. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Thank you. Cool.